What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? Today's Chiefs report is presented by True Classic Tees, and you can get 25% off plus free shipping when you go to trueclassictees.com slash chat, promo code chat. I'm rocking one of their polos today. They got a polo line as well. Go check them out, trueclassictees.com slash chat, promo code chat. Very comfortable males, T-shirts, and polos, and other gear as well. All right, a lot of news to get into. Let's start with Jalen Watson, who was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week for Week 2. He won the award today, and hey, that's pretty dang awesome for Jalen Watson, a player who, quite frankly, was off the radar before this season and really before Week 1. I mean, he's a seventh-round pick. He makes his mark. And he has to fill in for Trent McDuffie, the rookie first-round pick, who was placed on IR before that Chargers game. And his second game of his career, his first start, basically, he wins Defense Player of the Week. Shout-out to Jalen Watson. Was really good against the Chargers. Four tackles, had a pass breakup, had that 99-yard pick six, and uh, which was a touchdown, of course. Hey, the Chiefs found something here in this kid. Jalen Watson, he's 6'2", almost 200 pounds. He's built like a modern-day corner. You see him just blowing past Justin Herbert there on that pick six uh, off to the races. And then this is just a dope picture at Arrowhead Stadium where you see the crowd going nuts. Yeah, not 17 all anymore, 23-17. And then the Chiefs able to put it away. Uh, that play won the game, man. There is no doubt about it that Jalen Watson won that game with that pick six for a touchdown. Uh he deserves this award. I'm glad he was able to win it. And an interesting note from uh, Harold Koontz, who covers the Chiefs, only the third corner in the last decade to win the award at, for Defensive Player of the Year. Mike, Marcus Peters did it three times. Then Mike Hughes actually did it last season. Remember Mike Hughes, that experiment? Well, for one week, he was really good. I think he had a scoop and score as well. If you're excited about Jalen Watson, because I am, seventh-round pick, uh, winning Defensive Player of the Week, type me down in the comments. I want to see 50-plus me's down in the comments. Make it happen. Let's go if you're excited about the rookie corner. All right, let's talk about some other news. Willie Gay Jr., it appears that he will serve the four-game suspension without an appeal. Report coming out that he is not expected to appeal uh, his four-game suspension. And let's be honest, uh, chances of winning – an appeal is already low, and especially a domestic appeal, uh, talking about a situation where he uh, uh, you know, broke some property uh, at a, an ex-girlfriend's house where his kid lives, uh, you're probably not going to win that anyway. The NFL is pretty strict on domestic situations now, so I think you take the four games and you just deal with it if you're Willie Gay Jr. It's a bummer that he's suspended because he was off to a fast start to the season, 16 tackles, a couple tackles for loss, a couple pass breakups, a QB hit as well. This is supposed to be a breakout year for him, and for him to miss a month is obviously you know, a little bit of a setback but you know four games isn't the end of the world he'll be back uh before we know it but again uh hopefully it's a learning lesson for him hopefully he is able uh to get back uh be that positive member of society and get back on the football field as well so obviously he's suspended we'll see who steps up at linebacker is it going to be leo chanel is it going to be elijah lee darius harris you got some guys there obviously nick bolton's going to hold it down uh at that mike linebacker spot uh but could be more chanel could be more elijah lee we'll just have to wait and see i will say this while he's out tough games coming up trap game this week against the colts check out my preview video at the bucks the next week, Raiders at home, then Bills at home. That's that's four games that uh, are against quality opponents. I think the Colts have you know shown to not be great, but I still think that's a capable football team. Uh, so Willie Gay going to miss these next four matchups. Are you concerned about Willie Gay missing time? Type Y for yes, type N for no. More concerned for him and his continued development for the Chiefs. Not overly concerned. Let me know in the comments Y for yes or N for no. Shout out to True Classics for sporting today's show. I appreciate them for sending me a couple of shirts that I can rock here on the shows. Their t-shirts are fantastic, and I recommend buying in bundle. You can get this nine-pack for less than 14 bucks per t-shirt, and then, hey, for the next uh, week plus, uh, uh, you've got your uh, gear that you can wear to work, you can wear out. That's the thing about these uh, shirts and polos. Very versatile. You can wear them out to bars. You can you know, rock them in the office. You can wear them on the golf course. They're comfortable, and what True Classic promises is that they're going to show off 
off the best part of the male body. Males of all sizes, you can rock these shirts. As a big and tall guy in that category, when I'm shopping, sometimes I can't find clothes that fit that well. True Classic, though, these shirts fit really well. The polos are comfortable. They have an athletic line as well. 25% off with promo code chat when you go to trueclassictees.com slash chat. That is trueclassictees.com slash chat. Go check out True Classic. They are going to help you out. Link in the comments and in the description. Let's get to the injury report for both of these teams here on a Wednesday. For the Chiefs, eight players on the injury report, uh, but five are full participants. Orlando Brown with a knee, but he practiced in full. So did Trey Smith. Marquez Valdez-Scantling was a full participant with his hip issue. Justin Watson with that chest injury. Juju Smith-Schuster with a the shoulder. They're full, full participants as well. McCall Hardman, heel injury. He was limited today. We'll keep an eye on that. Michael Dana with the calf sprain. Probably going to miss a game or two. We'll see. He did not practice. Then Harrison Butker with that left ankle also did not practice. Good news is Matt Amendola can fill in at kicker if needed. I thought he kicked the ball well uh, the other night against the Chargers. Uh, handled his kickoff duties really well and, of course, uh, uh, made all of his kicks. So if you're the Chiefs, Harrison Butker, make sure he's fully healthy and get him back when that is the case. For the Colts, nine players on the Injury report, but again, five were full participants. Alex, Alec Pierce coming off a concussion. He was a full participant. Julian Blackman with and uh, Zaire Franklin with shoulders. Uh, they practice in full. Uh, Shaquille Leonard, uh, formerly Darius Leonard with that back. Grover Stewart, he was full. Uh, Michael Pittman Jr. with a quad injury. Uh, he was limited. Uh, that's an interesting one. Yannick Ngakwe was limited with a back injury. DeForest Buckner limited with a hip. And then Bernard Raymond, the rookie tackle, did not practice with an ankle injury. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Chiefs Report because we have daily videos for free here on this channel. So hit that big red subscribe button. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. I will continue to keep you guys up to the latest uh, when it comes to this football team. So subscribe right now. Let's talk about the quarterback and then we'll get out of here. Patrick Mahomes, is he going to win MVP? I called it before the season that he would. We have updated MVP odds. So let's take a look. Let's dissect it here. Uh, Top two are, are separating right now. Josh Allen, plus 325. He's been fantastic. So is Patrick Mahomes at plus 450. Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts at plus 900. Hurts at plus 900 could be a little sleeper there. He's playing well, and if the Eagles win the NFC East, uh, they're going to get a lot of uh, attention. Tom Brady, plus 1,600, uh, currently with the fifth best odds. But if you compare uh, Mahomes and Allen right now, I mean, it's really pick your poison, right? Uh, completion percentage, both over 73, Allen at 75.4. Uh, passing yards per game, Allen at 312, Mahomes 297.5. Uh, touchdowns and interceptions, each with seven. Allen does have two picks. Mahomes got away with one or two last week, so you could argue that's pretty even. QB rating, Mahomes slight edge. Uh, and then uh, it's actually rush TD, uh, that last category. Allen has one, Mahomes has zero. Uh, this will be a fun MVP race. It really will. Uh, I think these two are separating early, but it is early, two games. I'm sure some other names will get into the mix. Herbert could get back in there. Brady, if he keeps winning. Uh, and then, uh, of course, you know, guys like Lamar Jackson, Jalen Hurts. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. But right now, it's Mahomes and Allen, and it's the Chiefs and the Bills, two top teams and the cop and the quarterbacks for those teams so it's going to be fun to see this play out who do you think the better quarterback is right now I think if you polled 50 non-chiefs and bills fans you get a bunch of different answers but got to ride with my boy Mahomes baby type PM for Patrick Mahomes type JA for Josh Allen let me know who you're rolling with right now at quarterback